Hey everybody, it's Blue Tide and welcome back to Super Mario 64 Advanced, I guess. We have one more star left to do in Thorpe's <laughs> Fortress, and then we're gonna move on to other things. I'm gonna try and get the star with the cannon. It's gonna fail, but I'm gonna try. As long as I don't aim too high, I'll be fine. There it is. Oh, it would have been good to actually learn how to do the trick off screen. <laughs> that would have been good. Anyway, it's fine. Oh, too high, too high, too high! Oh my goodness, I did say that I just need to not aim too high. And I was in a rush because I, I've i got a rush! For some reason, I don't know. Anyway. Let's just go up this way then. Which activates the, the Altex, which was why I was avoiding it as much as possible. I have to blast away the stone wall again. Oh, don't fall in the hole. Perfect. What I should probably do is to start off is actually aim for the star before figuring out where to shoot vertically. Okay. Good, 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 good. Too high, too high, too high. Good, no, good. Maybe a little bit higher. Okay, and go. Got it. And landed on the ledge somehow. And there we go, that's another level done. Jolly Roger Bay is gonna be about fairly normal, except for like the first star. But the, uh. The Cool Cool Mountain is gonna be a lot more fun. Let's go to Cool Cool Mountain. Also, if you want to get rid of the light but not get the red coin star for the wing cap, you can just do the wing cap switch and then leave. If you really want to. Slip slide in away. Well, I could do that, but I am going to go get wall kicks will work first. Without the cannon. So this is world guy here. And if we bounce off of him, we can go way, way away from where we need to be. But we can see down here is where Walkix will work is. So, let's just spin and win. Here we go. That one's a good one. I like that one. Speedrunners don't do that, I don't think. Not anymore. Instead, speedrunners just backflip and then wall jump from the ledge above and somehow get in. But anyway, let's hop into this slide again, which is probably going to be normal. There's, a, there's, like, I was hoping to have a lot, a lot more things be a bit more advanced, but uh, I'm just not as good as, like, absolute pros. And then, yeah, this is, there's just a lot of things that you have to do normally as well. I can actually see what's up here now, because I can, I can actually get the whatever's in the box, which is probably just a one-up. And if I fall off again, I can just, you know, side flip, wall jump back up. Anyway, let's go. Oh, I know what else. I know another star in this level I want to get. I guess I'm gonna do that next. I'm, which it is the next star, so I guess it makes sense. Hop in. And it's time for Little Penguin Lost. Let's see if I can do this the way I know how. So I grab the penguin and then jump off the edge. And then what is happening? That's not what I was trying to do. I'm trying to slide down this. Oh, too far. <laughs> what did Mario do? Oh my goodness. I, I didn't get the right angle on that jump there at the end. Everything else was fine, but it's just jumped too early trying to get the thing to work. But yeah, that's basically what we're going to do. We're just going to slide down, right down to where we need to be. So let's try to get the angle right and the speed correct. Oh no, that's not good at all. Ah, oh, so close as well. I was just, I had the wrong angle. At least I'm still alive. 
The thing I, I like about the advanced skills and techniques thing that I'm doing right now is I just get to jump off of things and it somehow works out. Some Shortcuts, so I should probably do that to actually be better at it. Anyway, now that we're- Oh no, the penguin got flung off again and I did- Yeah. I was hoping to be doing a little bit better than that right now. But this is okay. I, I'm just- this, this is a practice run. I'm gonna re-record this episode. I just have to recollect the stars from last time and also- Also, uh, what's it called? Oh, here we go. Also get the same amount of lives back. I think you don't have to actually press any buttons. Oh my goodness. Yeah, if you don't if you don't jump off there and just let it fling you off, it goes a lot better for you. So yeah. There we go. Let's get the rest of the stars. I'm just thinking ahead about what stars are left. Guess there aren't any there's not too many. Advanced things to do left. Let's just hop in here. Hello, I'm gonna race you now. Go. <laughs> you just show up and they're like ready to tell you that they want to race you, and you're like, I'm gonna race you now. And then just go. Anyway, we can't take the shortcut, unfortunately. But that's okay because I'm gonna zoom past you and he's gonna rubber band back, basically. Hello again. Oh, why are you so fast? Oh no! I was going way too fast to try and keep stay ahead just at the end there. I think I'm overcompensating every move that I make right now. Like, I'm trying to... I'm trying to be skills. But I'm trying to be skills too much and it's just ruining everything. Okay. Also, I'm pretty sure that people way more skilled than me can make... Like, go from the beginning to the end of this slide in like a crazy jump, so. But I can't do that, so. I'm just gonna go fairly normally, fairly normally, fairly normally. What is happening? <laughs> yeah, the thing about me trying to be skilled is that I have bad luck and it's just gonna throw me through a wall. Okay, let's try this again. I can do this, I believe in myself. There is a jump that I want to make in this level. I guess that's one thing that I want to do skilled. Let's make a long jump work in a specific spot. I don't think you can skip parts of this course without cheating, technically. Because the game knows when you cheat. The game knows. The game always knows. There we go, that's better. Come on, penguin. Also, you look bigger than the ones outside, I guess. This is this that we don't even have to ground pound for. We can just walk into it and we're already on the ground. That's a nice thing about some of these stars. Very nice. Pop back in. This is probably red coins, if I had to guess. 
Which works out quite well for me, actually. So, let's just hop back over here. And let's grab some coins. Oh, I didn't mean to say to say go, I'm sorry. It's gonna make it a little bit difficult to get some of these coins, though. Oh, careful, 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 careful. I was trying to say no to the penguin, and I'm sad that I didn't. Because there's this thing in the way now. Oh, please don't push me out of the way now. Thank you. Need those coins. Already at 50. Oh my goodness. Please don't die. Thank you. I didn't get many of the coins at the end there, but that's okay. 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 Keep going. Let's grab this one. Very nice. And let's head up to the top again. I should probably go down the, the big slide all the way down for some coins. But there's also the other one red coin that I need to get as well. Oh, too fast. Too fast. That's okay, let me grab this. I think there are a few more coins on that slope I can get. Well, there's these ones here I can get. How many more do I need? How many red coins do I have? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so... I need three more red coins. And... Um, 20 regular coins. I'll grab that. I wonder if I can get up to that ledge up there. Probably not, especially because there's a slope there. Oh my goodness, that could have ended badly. Anyway, I know what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go past these uh, ping penguins, snowman, and then I'm going to long jump across here and hit the switch. I don't think this is going to give me enough coins, unfortunately. So I am a little bit short on coins. I can also just, just hop back over to the red coin over here. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Because I definitely need four more coins. There's a thing down there with three. The coins in this slope that I can get, I don't think so. I don't think so. Also, I'm going to slide down now. Excuse me, coming through. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love some of the things you can do. Ah, uh, so I guess I'm going to get the flower guy over here. I don't know actually what it's called, but I'm going to call him a flower guy. Now I just need one more coin, which I can get at the top of the mountain, and then slide down for the star. The red coin star, that is. Also, there's another flower guy up the top of the mountain, if I wanted to get that instead of being over the top of the... um. The chimney, because if I go down the chimney, or if I grab the star above the chimney, then it's probably gonna just put me into the chimney. And that's not gonna be good. Let's go down, quick, 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 go down, go down, go down, go down, go down, grab that. And there we go. <laughs> now, I wonder something very quickly. Where is... Oh, where is... Oh, it's right there! Oh, that would have been good. Oh, don't die, 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 don't die. Thank you. Okay, let's head back up to the top and actually get the star, please. Okay, change camera angles. I can make the long jump again if I want to, but I'm going to just go around this corner. Like that. Nice. Ah, oh, I didn't ground pound. Oh well, that's everything in Cool Cool Mountain now. I think I'm going to skip Jolly Roger Bay for now, because I want to do some stuff in the next area of the game, the next section, I guess. Let's go do that. I'm just going to leave the wing cap for now as well. Let's 
excuse me, coming through. And into the pit. Okay. Now. We'll also have to get the red coins. There's also a metal cap block at the beginning of this level that you don't really need, ever. Oh. That could have ended badly. It's gonna end badly if I try to get this red coin, though. Or I could just side flip. You know. Normal things. Okay, and now, while I'm here, oh. Okay, I'm back. Just technical difficulties, don't worry. Anyway, if we just quickly triple jump. Oh, that's not what I was trying to do. We can get up there. Oh, I didn't mean to jump off. Anyway, you can't get up there with a triple jump, but that's not what I'm trying to do right now. I have to get these red coins again since I want to get those on my first run through here. Okay, good. And then... That one. Very nice. Plenty of extra time, apparently. Oh, bad. That was a bad move. I don't know why I tried to do that. Also, we can see the same Bowser painting that we see at the end of... Oh, at the top of the tower as well. Okay, there we go. Try to avoid the fire a little bit more. And not just jump onto a platform that's moving away from me as well. Okay, now. If I actually do this properly. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Hang on. I know what I'm trying to do. So if I triple jump and... Nope. If I triple jump and get my last... My third jump onto there, I can wall jump off of that thing over there and it's pretty cool. Third jump on the slope, and then wall jump. Pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Ow, pain. Don't pain me. Also, while I'm here, just quickly, let me get onto here, and then... Just gonna long jump across there, and grab that. And long jump back as well. There we go. There we go. Gonna get this red coin right here. Now we only have two more red coins left to do. And they're gonna be fun. Obviously. So, let's get this red, red coin over here. Just like that. And I guess this one isn't that much different from what I would normally do. Guess I can just wall jump across though. And there we go. I like that red coin long jump across the the one tiny gap down there though. It's a lot of fun. Also, I'm pretty sure if I do this correctly that I don't even need this switch here. Just like that. Very nice. Let's get this Bowser Toss. I, I love Bowser Toss. Hello, Bowser. Oh, I'm so mad I missed. Also, Mario doesn't say bye-bye in the original version when he tosses Bowser. Just wanted to say that, because it's very different. Anyway, Bowser's done. Please, let me talk to you. It's a bit weird with him talking to you sometimes. Also, you can move when the key's spawning in, so you can just stand right on top of the key, and then as soon as you can possibly collect it, you collect it. Just like that. And now for something that I've been looking forward to. Another thing that I've been looking forward to. Let's go... Downstairs. Oh, 
Oh, please go down, Mario. Don't be silly. Don't grab onto this tiny ledge. Okay, so... When we get into here... Oh, uh, we have options right now. But if I can grab Mips, that'd be great. Got him. And now, put Mips down. But we're gonna ignore the star. And we're gonna head over this way. So... We want to have the camera zoomed out like this in Mario mode, I'm pretty sure. And then we want to head towards the door. And then, we're right up against the door. When we see Mip's shadow disappear, we're going to put him on the ground. Nope, hang on, we want to keep walking to the door. Isn't that right? Yeah. Oh, I might have changed the camera too much, that's okay. We want to walk into the door until Mip's uh, shadow disappears. And then, once it does, I want to keep walking into the door probably no come on I I, can, I I know I can do this oh come on game I've done I've I've been able to do this like no problems in the past maybe you don't have to move forward I don't know I need to keep moving forward into the door like that and then while we're inside of the door turn around grab mips jump and hold forward or toward the camera like towards the actual bottom of the screen. That's the one. Anyway, we're out here with Mips now. So that's pretty cool. And now, let's go over to this door. And basically do the exact same thing, except it's a whole lot easier because it pushes you straight through. And now, welcome to Die Die Docks. Board Bowser's sub. Listen, I'm I'm way past, well, the, the second sh section of the game already at this point. So let me just go past all of this. This level's also pretty much the same. No matter what. And now I'm gonna try to board Bowser's sub. The normal way, of course. What, what else would it be? You know, when you get onto this bit here and then change the camera a little bit and then just go up Here we go. you know the normal way now I have an idea of what I want to do for Bowser 2 but I'm not sure how well it's gonna work anyway who needs platforms Probably me, considering my health right now. I'm just gonna wait a little bit, get some health back. Now, there's actually a few things we can do in this level, to make, which makes it a little bit easier for us. And one of those things is right here, we're gonna side flip, wall jump, and then hold towards the platform. If I can manage to get it to work, that'd be great. It's a bit precise, but if we can manage to get it to work... Oh, come on. I know I can do this. If I can manage to get it to work, we can just be up here. Which could be good in certain scenarios. Depending on what we want to do. Now let's go up here. I'm going to grab that straight away. I'm going to go back here. And grab that. Now this is actually a pretty good spot to actually do that trick now. There we go. And now I think I'm gonna just ignore the elevator as well. Oh, except I changed the camera. We can just wall jump up our way that way. And just keep going. Now, if I can just not fall off of this, that'd be great. Ow. Oh my goodness. Oh, he killed himself. Okay. Let's go this way. Can't make that jump, I don't think. But we can get to the next red coin somewhat soonish, hopefully. Nope, have to wait for it. That's a shame. A real shame. Go 
grab that, and then let's head on up. Oh wow, I didn't jump for some reason. I pressed the jump button, but I think because of the way it's moving, it didn't allow me to jump up. Anyway, we can also do a side flip to get up here quickly. Now, let me see if I can do this. No, I, pray I need to get the red coins. That's a shame. If only I didn't have to get red coins. Oh, this is bad. Oh, very, very bad. Oh, bad. I risked too much. The risk was not worth the reward. The reward was death. Anyway, that's fine. Just have to do this level again. That might have been a bad move to dive just then. A very bad move. It's fine now. Everything's fine now. I do actually want to do part of World 2 though. There's there's a level that I want to do in World 2. Actually, there's two things I want to do in World 2. Maybe more. Multiple things. Many things in World 2. Oh, in World 2 I mean like the basement part of the game. Okay, up we go. Oh, I didn't get that red coin down there. That's okay, I need to go down anyway since I need to actually get the red coin just here. This is a weird spot for a red coin. Oh, I missed. That's a shame. Come on. Okay, fine. If that's the way it's gonna be. Just gonna do that. And grab this red coin. Otherwise, another option you can do is actually just jump out of, like, use the lava to bounce yourself back up onto those platforms, I'm pretty sure. Something like that. Which could probably be faster in some ways. Oh my goodness, come on. So rude. Okay. Grab that. Oh my goodness, what is happening with this bomb? Nice. I managed to get that before it moved down again. I don't know if there's a w quick way of getting up here though. Which is fine. Something you can do though, up here, is... You see that little tiny edge around the lava? You can actually walk all the way along that towards the end. And then probably use the, um, the lava to bounce yourself back up onto the area. I'm gonna grab some life before I accidentally kill myself. Inevitably. I might just die. <laughs> grab that. Very nice, thank you. And obviously you can just go over that instead of going under. Come on. Come on, Mario. Let's just go up this way. There we go. Let's do Bowser 2. I guess I'll show what happens if you ground pound. I think you... I'm pretty sure this is a thing that happens in the normal game if you ground pound. In this Bowser fight. Let me see if it does, because I'm... Not entirely sure, but if I think if I ground pound, nope, too too early, or not early enough, nope, it it, it does work in this version. So if Bowser would be so kind as to jump again, which might involve me grabbing him and throwing him off the edge the wrong way. So let me do that. Careful not to accidentally kill him. Oh Bowser, I'm sorry, I nearly did it wrong. Excuse me, excuse 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 me. Okay, let me throw you off there. Okay, and then run away, and then... ground pound. Nope. It didn't... I... I did it bad. I did it bad again, why? It shouldn't be this hard to do. Anyway, let me make sure there's not a bomb there, and then throw you off the edge. No, there is a bomb there! 
<sighs> hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I want to do this. This this should be this should be fairly easy to do. This is not going to help me. This is actually bad for me if I do this. Ground pounding is not good on this level. Or at least it's a lot harder at the very least. If you nope too early again. Oh my goodness, Bowser! Can I just fling you the wrong way? The one time I want to fling Bowser off the edge and not have him die. Of course, I hit him. Every single time after that point, fine game. That's the way it's gonna be. I'm gonna fall through the lava and then wonder where in space time I am. I don't know what just happened. Oh, anyway. Okay, I want to get this. Don't do it early. Try to do it late. Okay. This is probably my last try getting this to glitch out. There we go. You can fall through the platform by ground pounding as it's moving. Kind of like the way that you can move, go through uh, King Womp on Womp's Fortress. So, yeah. That's just a problem that happens. It, it's apparently very difficult to do, apparently. But yeah. That's a thing that can happen. So don't, don't ground pound. Just, just to make sure. Can I grab you, please? There we go. Oh, that wasn't enough. No, Bowser, why? Also, I'm pretty sure you can tank a hit and then walk through Bowser with invincibility frames to grab him. Except I just failed really badly at that. Bye-bye. So now we're up to the upper floors already. And if this was the original version, there is a glitch you can do to get up to Bowser 3, the final Bowser. But they patched it in this version. So I can't do that. But what I'm probably going to do now is actually, uh, well, end for one thing. And then we're going to head to, um, Lethal Lava Land. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.